My dear friends, welcome to Rajshekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 522. In this lecture, we will try to understand learning rate or step size. In previous lecture, we saw in gradient descent xi equal to xi minus 1 minus r into df by dx at xi minus 1. What is this df by dx? It is slope at xi minus 1. In previous lecture, we said that r is kept constant. This is often called as update equation for gradient descent. Now, r is often called as learning rate and also called as step size. Step size or learning rate are basically same. Now let's take an example and see what problem it could create if I keep my R as constants. Let's, let's take an example of parabola. Suppose this is y equal to f of x y equal to f of x which is which is x square y equal to f of x equal to x square and uh, I have x as well as I have y equal to f of x equal to x square isn't it Let, let's uh, let's assume I reach a point where my x i equal to 0.5 after some iterations now my x i plus 1 equal to x i minus r into df by dx at xi. What is df by dx here? df by dx is nothing but my f of x equal to x square. My df by dx is n x power d by dx of x power n is n into x to the power of n minus 1. Therefore, x square differentiation is 2x. We kept r as constant. Let me assume r equal to 1. What happens to my xi plus 1? My xi plus 1 will be, what is my xi plus 1? Just see, xi plus 1 equal to xi minus, just see, what is my xi? xi is 0.5, r is 1, df by dx is 2x, at what? At xi, yes, xi is 0 0.5, isn't it? Here, what is xi? xi is 0 0.5, therefore, you are getting xi plus 1, as minus 0.5. So, what happened right now? This is my uh, minima. This one is my, uh, um, this is my minima that is x star, isn't it? I have learning rate which is r because of some slope that I have here. My xi plus 1 went to the other side which is minus 0.5. xi plus 1 is minus 0.5. What happened here? I went from xi equal to 0 0.5 to xi plus 1 equal to minus 0 0.5. But remember, we should actually go closer to x star. We jump to the other side. What happened here? We simply jumped over x star. When I am going from xi to xi plus 1, we jumped over x star. Now, there is one more problem. What happened to xi plus 2? Just see, xi plus 2 equal to xi plus 1 minus r into df by dx at xi plus 1. Therefore, your xi plus 2 value is 0 0.5. My xi plus 2 is again 0 0.5, isn't it? If my xi plus 2 is 0 0.5, my xi plus 3 will be minus 0.5. Basically, it is oscillating between plus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. What is happening here? I am basically oscillating. I am oscillating between x equal 0 0.5 and x equal to minus 0 0.5. Why is this happening? Because my r has been kept constant at a value of 1. If we write code simply it oscillates between minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 and will never converge to x star never move or converge or never eventually move to x star which is a problem and what is the remedy to this problem what is the remedy for 
oscillating here it is oscillating between 0 0.5 and plus minus 5 this is called oscillating problem what is the remedy for oscillation problem isn't it remedy is you were you change r with each iteration you you somehow change your learning rate or step size with the each iteration one simple technique of course there are many many ways to do it one technique is to reduce r with each iteration when you reduce r what happens first time you probably jump to the other side but since you are reducing r you will not make full jump come somewhere closer to extra because your r itself changed r basically becomes a function of your iteration number or iteration number this problem occurs more and more as you are come closer and closer to x star we don't want this oscillation problem going back and forth so what do you do to avoid this oscillation problem you basically make your learning rate we reduce it in each iteration so you could say something like uh, you can create r is some function of hi where i is the iteration such that as i increases r should reduce in the in, in the literature there there are there are well studied functions but if you ensure that as the iteration number increases if r reduces eventually we will convert to the right solution which is extremely important with learning rate or step size when we learn deep learning we will learn multiple we will learn multiple techniques how to modify r more effectively and efficiently there are some some modifications for simple gradient descent which works brilliantly well even for extremely large optimization problems for now the simple idea that r needs to change in each iteration is a good enough idea for most of the standard machine learning algorithms that we will that we will learn for deep learning um, the, we will learn some interesting uh, op, uh, some interesting optimization on how to change r efficiently for effective convergence to the global minima i request all of you to go through this lecture so that i will discuss about gradient descent for linear regression in my next lecture that is in lecture number 523 thank you very much